plant pests, tiny white worm-like insects. It's not always a simple task trying to identify tiny arthropods inhabiting your garden. If you've noticed damage allegedly from unidentifiable culprits, it makes it even more frustrating. Several insects are tiny, whitish and pests of garden plants during their larval stage. In some cases, they can be identified by the plants they favor and damage they cause. For further identification, contact your local university extension office, noting the creature's location, size and effect. Type Many whitish, worm-like pests visiting your ornamental plants, vegetable garden or even houseplants are the immature stages of flies, moths or beetles. Fly larvae are called maggots, moth larvae are called caterpillars and beetle larvae are most often called grubs. All have a similar body shape, long, cylindrical and vaguely resembling worms. Grubs and maggots often have a distinct head that is usually darker than the body, and grubs often have three distinct legs near their head. Caterpillars often have many leg-like appendages. Size Even if you've concluded the culprits are tiny, a more exact size can help you better identify what is chewing on your favorite plants. Among the simplest methods of determining exact size is to take a specimen and hold it against a ruler. If it's particularly small, use a ruler with millimeter or centimeter marks. Root maggots and asparagus beetle larvae grow up to one quarter inch long, and fruit worms can grow up to half inch long. Fungus gnat larvae are particularly small, sometimes much less than one quarter inch long. Host plant or location The location of the pest can also help in identification. Most larvae and worm-like pests have one or a couple of specific plant hosts, meaning they only feed on their hosts. Asparagus beetle larvae, for example, prefer to feed on the ferns and berries of asparagus asparagus officinalis plants, which grow in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 4 through 8. Onion and cabbage root maggots feed on the roots of their namesakes, along with several other cruciferous brassica SPP plants. Codling moth larvae burrow into apples Mollus domestica and CVS, which typically grow well in USDA zones 5 through 7, although O-chill and cold hardy varieties exist into crab apples Mollus SPP, which are hardy in USDA zones 4 through 8, and into pears pyrus SPP, most of which grow in USDA zones 5 through 8. European corn borers prefer annual corn ZMAs, peppers capsicum SPP, and Irish potatoes solanum tubersum. Fungus gnat and shorefly larvae are clear to white and often feed on fungi, organic material in soil or algae in greenhouse or container plants. Damage The damage symptoms on the plants can also help you determine which creature is inhabiting your garden. Some worm-like pests feed on foliage, whereas others attack the roots or fruit of your favorite plants. Various leaf miners, for example, leave distinctive marks in the tops of leaves. Pickle worms begin feeding on cucurbit foliage and later the fruit. The one-quarter-inch long raspberry fruit worm larvae feed on immature berries, 